Welcome back to another video and a big storyline around the NBA is Chet Holmgren. He is finally playing in his first play-in game and he's barely even played over 100 games in his entire career. He has to match up against DeAndre Ayton who has been a leading factor on this Rockets team. The Rockets will have to do it without Jalen Green as he's out due to injury and with Shea Gilgis Alexander leading the way. Who's going to be able to match his production on the Rockets? Izzy in clutch situations has not been the best throughout his entire career in the short time it has been. The number one overall pick has been very passive to DeAndre Ayton and Jabari Smith letting them take control. And Chet Holmgren getting the put back. And Chet Holmgren, he's growing into his own, but just like Will O'Neal, the tall guys are just not too efficient. Great pass from Izzy Ball to the corner of Jabari Smith. I mean, Izzy Ball is the facilitator of the team. Behind the back pass to DeAndre Ayton. And as you'll see throughout the game, DeAndre Ayton was going off. William called for a travel, but he gets it right back for a layup in transition izzy ball misses gets his own put back and tough layup the rockets were in a similar situation last season where they ended up losing the first game of the play-in then winning to play the one seed grizzlies where they actually swept in a very big upset a 60 win team the rockets defeated last year this year though the thunder seem to be also looking to beat them in the first game look at izzy shoot it from downtown and just air balls it that's just sad to watch but deandre ayton over the entire game just ended up dominating at the end after being down by around 14 points late in the fourth quarter deandre ayton single-handedly brings the rockets back all by himself they just gave him the ball and said let let him cook let him iso and after some clutch steals Branham gets a dunk and it's just a three-point game very late into the game with the Rockets with the last shot. And with the season on the line, the Rockets decide to give it to Izzy Ball in the corner. And he ties it 136 to 136. Shea at the end of the game misses and we are going into OT. The special works of DeAndre Ayton brings the Rockets back in the game. The Rockets are looking to play the Lakers in the first round of so the Jazz. I don't know who you would prefer to play. This Jazz team has been deadly to end the season. The Lakers ended the year a little slow, but the Thunder in the OT, they just ran away with it. The Rockets tried to make it close, but on that play, they try to steal it, and they just let Shea Gill just run out the clock, and Izzy showing some sportsmanship that's rare from him. And William Wilson played very well. Josh Giddy triple double. And man, look at DeAndre Ayton. 44 and 19 in the loss. And the Thunder will end up playing the Lakers. And the Rockets will have to fight to keep their hopes alive. Now for the Spurs. They match up against the Timberwolves that made the NBA Finals last year. A very tall task for the young John Cookley and Russell Westbrook led Spurs and D'Lo the X Factor the man that can just turn it on and off went off tonight Cat gets hit hard and John Cookley almost steals it and look and he's just showing off the range John Cookley and this Mike Brown led team who was coached by Mike Brown of course they really focus on defense and more of a gritty style of play but and honestly, it's a very proud feat to even make it this far. You did get blown out by the Timberwolves, but with this lack of talent and just young of a core, of course, West, Russell Westbrook added on top. It's a pretty good feat by Mike Brown. He's definitely going to be here to stay for the Spurs due to the retirement of Greg Popovich. Up next, we have the Wizards going up against the Philadelphia 76ers. The 42-win Sixers team led by Embiid and a bunch of role players. Embiid missed some time, so that's why the record is so bad. Buddy Heald has shown out. Tobias Harris has taken a step back. And Tyrese Maxey, he has played well, but not progressed as you would like. But Sengun, the new acquirement, the Rockets let him go. They're looking to sign Izzy Ball or another free agent. And they just had to free up some money. But Sengun has just shown off 
with this Wizards team as of late. And B did have a good game. There he gets double teamed, has to pass it out to Tobias Harris. And honestly, it was just a blowout. I mean, the Wizards did run away with it. The score was closer than it seems. Trust me, it was not close. The Wizards walk away with it, and the 76ers has to now fight against the Knicks or the Raptors. Whoever wins, they will have to play and win against to be the 8th seed in the playoffs and play the Miami Heat. Speaking of the Knicks and Raptors, they are playing in Madison Square Garden, the 9th and 10th seed. The 33-win Raptors team versus the 37-win Knicks team. Both very young. Knicks are just looking to improve next season while the Raptors may look to change it up in the offseason. Demetrius Augustine gets to the free throw line. Not a lot of points scored by him. Christian Green misses, gets the put back, and look at that. Demetrius Augustine bad pass gets picked off by Christian Green Jr. And Christian Green Jr. getting double teamed. His scoring ability has been a very large threat for any team playing against him. And if we're talking about blowout, sadly, the Raptors did not walk away with their pride. They got destroyed in this matchup. Christian Green leads the way with 26. RJ Barrett, 31, only missed three shots. And of course, Siakam, the leader, actually played well. But they look to move on from him since they aren't a championship caliber team and he is getting up there in age. The Raptors lose by 30. And now the fight for the 8th seed. Now this game was very close. This is not a blowout. The Knicks and 76ers in Philly. Can the New York Knicks upset this 76ers team? Look at Bede go in there for the dunk easily. This was a very close game. Very gritty. This is one of those games that the old heads say is like the old style of play. There was a lot of fouls, a lot of aggressive moves. Tyrese Maxey, the end, the half, makes it right over him. And as you see, the Wizards already clinched their play-in spot. And whoever wins, 76ers or Knicks, will play the Miami Heat. And then going down, Julius Randle gets blocked. He goes there and look at Embiid getting fired up. It was just one of those games where you got to get the crowd involved. And no way did Embiid just turn around like that and then start celebrating in the face of Christian Green Jr. and the rest of the Knicks. Tough foul. Like I said, this game was very close. And it kind of, and I'm not, if this wasn't the end of the year, I would love to see this be a playoff matchup. They seem to have a little bad blood. Christian Green going in for the tough layup, gets past Embiid, and look at Doc Rivers getting mad on the sidelines. Tobias Harris getting upset. And Embiid did shoot a lot of free throws in this game. Embiid is known for getting a lot of free throws, drawing a lot of contact. Christian Green also going to the line to go up one. 130 to 129 and B goes down just bullies Mitchell Robinson in the post and is tied 137 to 137 with two seconds left they're gonna look to give it to Christian Green he gets the shot up and misses it was pretty open and we're going to OT look at Cole Anthony off the bench just slams it down he might not even be six foot tall and he gets up there christian green and cole anthony hyped and then you get Embiid in the post you try to do a little shimmy move he breaks the post hook and it's 154 152 they foul christian green he makes one free throw tyrese maxi is the one shooting and it's not a three and they foul and that is it the New York Knicks are going into the playoffs. They will have to match up against the 60 win, 60 plus win Heat team. I don't think the Knicks are going to win. Maybe one game, hopefully. But they have been pretty well. They have shown a lot of promise. Maybe for the future. Maybe not right now, though. And the next game we look at is the Rockets versus Timberwolves. With no Jalen Green, the Rockets will have to win this game. Last year, the Rockets were a play-in team, and they ended up making their way into the playoffs as the 8th seed. They lost their first matchup, then won against the Kings to make the playoffs, and then they ended up beating the Grizzlies. But last year, the Timberwolves actually made the finals. It was kind of a lucky run. There was a lot of teams getting injured, a lot of disappointing teams. And looking at the record, 
the Rockets are actually better by four wins. A lot of injuries to the Timberwolves this year, but their lack of a absolute star has shown many holes on this team. The Rockets are up by three with nine minutes in the fourth, a steal, and look at this offense. They're just spreading around and look at look at the lineup. There is no big man. You have Izzy at the center position. They're just going around trying to recover and they do. They had DeAndre Ayton out, but with Izzy at power forward, that's gotta be a weird lineup, very small ball. D'Lo cuts in, he stops, Anthony Edwards easy blow by and gets an easy dunk while Jabari Smith, oh he gets open, he was trying to make it a 6 point game with that 3, D'Lo cuts in and Anthony Edwards ties it up right over Cameron Payne's head top, celebrating after saying they're done, Jabari Smith crossover and no! just drives right into Rudy Gobert and Cat. A decent look at the layup, he misses it. Jabari drives in, final shot. Look at Izzy, he gets him off! And he misses it off. Look at that, the pump fake gets the defender going away from him. He gets open, just cannot drain the shot. Izzy once again misses a clutch shot. The Timberwolves go up by two, 132 to 130 late into OT. And Jabari, he was cold to end that fourth quarter, but he's bringing it back. Jabari gives it to Izzy. Back to Jabari for three, he misses again. It is now tied, and look at the defense by Izzy again on Anthony Edwards. Now they double. He has to pass out. They pass it back to Anthony Edwards. He just forces it up with not a lot of time left, and the Rockets get the ball back. But look at that. Nas Reed steals it on the inbound, just bumps off of him. They don't make it, of course, from half court. Now we're going to a double OT to see who will make the eighth seed and play the Utah Jazz in the playoffs. And the Rockets in this OT blow by him. Easy three. Cat fouls out, just spells the writing on the wall. The finals Timberwolves team pretty much just runs it back and just cannot get over the Super Bowl hangover of the NBA. And they are not even gonna make it into the playoffs as the Rockets with less than 10 seconds left. They have won 151 to 147. Two games on each conference to go to the eight seed, scored over 150 points. High scoring, very down to the wire. Anthony Edwards 41 was not enough. Izzy Ball one point in overtime. 45 points for Jabari Smith. What a game. Looking at the shooting breakdown, you can just see how Anthony Edwards just destroyed Izzy in that matchup. Not even close. Not even worth to compare. And now you can finally see the look of the playoffs. You're going to have some interesting matchups like, of course, the Knicks versus this Miami Heat team who has just been absolutely dominant all year round. You have the Utah Jazz, John Muir Ware, the user-created player, versus Izzy, the number one overall pick user-created player. Nuggets are in the playoffs with two user-created players. William Wilson on the Thunder, user-created player against LeBron James. And then you have Kadon Ryan matching up against the Hawks, a user-created player. Paul Thompson in the playoffs. And the Knicks have a play. There's a lot of user-created players in the playoffs. They seem to be making a good impact, as well as the Mavericks. Yeah, they're also in the playoffs with Sean Taylor. Sorry for anyone I missed. I know Demetrius Augustine did not make it. Sadly, he just could not get it to go. And thank you for watching, JDN. If you do want to make a create, create a player, this might be the last episode. So join the Discord link in the description. And thank you for watching. Peace.